often one of the biggest questions I get asked um, by parents and children is um, how do I keep myself safe when I'm playing online games? And what I like people to think about is that um, there is more similarity between the online world and the offline world than differences. So let's, let's look at it like this. When a young boy or girl is in a park, if a stranger came up to them and started asking them personal questions, we teach them to, to zip it, to actually stop talking, move away, and go and talk to somebody that they trust, uh, but to certainly not share personal details with somebody that they don't know. Uh, if they're in a park, for example, and somebody came up to them and said, look, you know, come with me, follow me, we obviously teach our young children not to follow strangers. Now I want you to think about an online game. You've got a boy or a girl playing an online game. They're playing the game and somebody in the game starts to ask them personal questions. They need to stop communicating. Never answer personal questions when you're in an online game talking to people that you don't know. If somebody gives you a link to click on in an online game, don't click on the link. Um, now we can look at the comparison between the offline world and the online world. Um, we know how to look after ourselves in a park. We know how to teach children to look after themselves in a park or indeed in the street. If a stranger comes up to them, they don't share personal details. They don't follow that person. And it's the same in the game. So here are the golden rules when they're playing an online game. They can answer questions that relate to the game. But the minute anybody starts to ask some questions that don't relate to the game they're playing, that's moving into personal. And they need to stop the communication. Lift their chin, put some air into their lungs because then they've got power and control over the situation. Number two, not to click on links that people give them. That is the same as following a stranger from a park. And they know not to do that in the physical world. Note I didn't call it the real world. The internet is an extension of the one world in which they live. Don't call the offline world real because they start to think that the online world is less real. It is simply an extension of the one world in which they live. So to conclude, playing online games is a great time for children. They must be age appropriate uh, to keep them safe, to keep their word bank and vocabulary consistent with family values. Don't answer personal questions. Never follow links from strangers. And if they get a funny feeling in their tummy or they're worried, they need to go and talk to somebody that they love or trust. Thank you.